Hey guys, it's Jess, and today I'm going to show you my foundation routine for glowy and luminous skin. I'm sure you all know by now how much I love my glow, so I'll be taking you through the products I'm using, and the brush, and the method, etc. And yeah, if you want to see how I do my foundation pretty much every day, then please keep watching. So this is me without any foundation on. Um, you can probably see, or I hope you don't see, that I have quite a few um, dark spots along the jawline and chin area. This is just from um, acne scarring because my skin scars really, really easily. So yeah, but the rest of my skin is pretty good. I don't really have any problems with, um, you know, redness or uneven skin tone. Though my skin is feeling a tiny bit dry today, normally it feels pretty good. So my first step is to apply a primer. Today I'm going to use the NARS Makeup Primer. As with most primers, this is going to help um, your foundation last longer and stay fresher on your skin. And this NARS one in particular is really good for hydration. So I just apply it a bit to the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush. This is the Sigma F80, which is a flat top kabuki brush. And I absolutely love this brush for foundation because it just gives you a great sort of flawless finish. And I'm just going to take that and apply that everywhere. So I like to apply my primer with the brush because then when I go to do my actual foundation, um, less of the foundation gets absorbed into the brush. So you waste less product. So that's good. So just apply that everywhere. Cool. So the foundation I'm going to use today is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which is my absolute holy grail foundation. I absolutely love this. But today I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Dior Skin Nude just because as I mentioned before my skin is feeling a little bit dry and this has a tendency to sort of cling to any dry patches you have so this is just going to help sort of combat that because this is quite moisturizing and I really like this one as well. So I'm just going to apply some Sheer Glow to the back of my hand and you don't need too much of this. Just like that, and then I'm gonna shake the dual skin and then just squirt some on top of that, like that. And then to that, I'm also gonna add um, Benefits Moonbeam, and this is just gonna help give your face and your foundation that overall glow. Shake that a bit. I feel like a painter when I ever do this, you know, sort of mixing it on the back of my hand. If you have like a petri dish or a palette, then definitely use that, but I just like to use the back of my hand. Um, I pretty much use equal quantities of each product. Then taking my foundation brush, dab it into the product and sort of just swirling it just to make help it mix into the brush. And then what I like to do is I sort of just dot it on my face everywhere. So then once I have foundation everywhere, I just sort of start blending it in little circular motions around your face. And you're not putting too much pressure on your actual face, you're sort of just letting the bristles do the work. And don't forget the sides of your nose. So take some more product and then apply it to your neck just so that the color, you know, blends in nicely. And then I take whatever's left over on my hand and then just pat it on the areas where I need more coverage. So just that chin area pretty much. And that's it. So my next step is the concealer for my face and I like to use MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Um, this is an NW30. Normally in MAC foundations, I'm about an NC35, so I like to use one that's just slightly lighter than my skin tone, nothing too light, because once I apply it to, you know, dark spots, I don't want to be lightening the dark spots, I just want them to blend in with the rest of my face. And then the brush I use for concealer is the NP Set um, Crease Blender Brush, and this one is quite good because it's a synthetic brush, so it's quite stiff but still quite fluffy for blending out concealer if needed. So just take that. And as I mentioned, um, 
The concealer should be pretty similar to your skin tone because you want to camouflage the dark spots. You don't really want to, you know, draw attention to them. Dot it onto the spot that I need to cover up and then blend it out slightly. So once I've done my foundation and my concealer, I like to give it sort of a couple of seconds to settle properly into my skin. So at this point, I actually do my brows. Um, but as you can see, I've already done them today, so I won't be showing you that. So I'll just set my foundation with powder. And what I like to use is the MAC MSF Natural. Um, this is in medium dark. And I'll just take it on a fluffy powder brush. So get some product. And then just sort of apply it everywhere on your face and don't forget your neck as well so then at this point I would usually do my eye makeup which is already done so I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my under eye area and the one I like to use is the MAC select moisture cover um, this is really good because it's actually quite hydrating for your under eye area and it's very light and I use this one in NW25 because I want to lighten and brighten that under eye area. So get some and I just dab it on. And then I take my same concealer brush and then just apply that. So this just really helps to cover any darkness and shadows that you have. And then the last step I'm going to do is set that under eye concealer and I like to use Benefits Powder Flash which is a, just a very light um, whitish sort of pink powder. And this is good because it will help that concealer last longer but it also doesn't you know settle into fine lines. And then just dust that lightly on top. And I'm just using a Sigma E40 brush which is pretty much like the MAC 224. There you go. That is my foundation routine. I would just finish it off with doing my bronzer, blush, highlighting, etc. But yeah, done for foundation. As you can see, very, very easy and quick. Um, yeah, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.